In the past, we used the automation pyramid to demonstrate the different levels that exist, the devices that are used, how they communicate with each other, and how they overlap. If we look at automation today, then we can see quite clearly that the IT world and automation world are merging. As a result, there are considerably more attack factors when it comes to automation, which in turn increases its security requirement. No, quite the opposite. Safety will continue to grow in importance. A modern automation plant is no longer simply shut down. Completely different safety functions are used. It's also necessary to consider the additional risk factors that can arise alongside the classic ones. In this context, the question arises, how secure from manipulation is your own safety controller? Safety and security are essentially two sides of the same coin, which are mutually dependent. An example, if we look at an automation plant with a controller, it contains the process automation section, as well as the functional safety section. The engineering tool that we use is password protected. This protection can be kept relatively simple. What it normally doesn't contain are the various roles that a person can perform on such a plant. For example, operator, maintenance technician or service staff. If someone knows the password and enters the plant, where he changes parameter values, it may be that these parameters are significant for functional safety. And as such, he would be intervening in functional safety. The issue here is actually one of security of the user management, because it has not been sensibly constructed. The challenges for security are these. We are communicating more and more. The number of subscribers is continuously increasing. And we will see new wireless technologies finding their way into the production world, so revealing more safety gaps. On the other hand, in the area of functional safety, machines are becoming modular and flexible, and so there will be a completely new set of demands to provide answers in this area. I would say that there are no particular advantages for the automation solution. However, there are advantages for component manufacturers who are really familiar with the area of functional safety, as safety process issues are very similar, with risk analyses, validations, etc.